Hello there. there. Welcome to the Apollo Solar Giza installation online training. Today we will be looking at water quality and how it affects solar geysers. Borehole water quality. It is not advisable for solar geysers to be supplied with borehole water regardless if a comprehensive filter system has been installed. A basic SANS 241 test only serves to verify if the water is drinkable or not and how it affects the human body, but it does not show the whole picture of how the water reacts to the metals in your home's plumbing network. Water analysis is usually done at room temperature, around 25 degrees Celsius, which is not indicative of the water's behaviour when under high temperatures such as in a geyser. The water's pH level, conductivity and other compositions may change as the temperatures increase along with pressure, thus may negatively affect different types of water storage tanks. Note the scale shown above. A positive Langelier saturation index above 0.5 leads to certain minerals such as calcium carbonate precipitating out of the water when exposed to high temperatures. This will cause scales to form on the different types of water storage in the tanks, the solar geyser electrical element, and clogging up solar collectors, thus reducing their efficiency and general water quality. While a negative Langelier saturation index below 0.5 means that the water will dissolve readily available sources of calcium and become corrosive, eating away at materials from the water storage inner tanks to copper piping in your home's plumbing network. Should borehole water be the only available source of water, then it is strongly recommended that one needs to put more than two anodes or long anodes in the tank to counteract the corrosion. Cylinder Failure a geyser may fail due to a manufacturing fault, corrosion, or rust. To reduce corrosion and prolong a geyser's lifespan, an anode is supplied with your geyser that essentially sacrifices itself to limit the corrosion of the cylinder. Many people take the geysers, solo or otherwise, for granted, assuming they can install it and simply forget about it. For the most part, this is true, so long as your anode rod is doing fine. What is an anode rod? Sacrificial anode rods in solar geysers are one of the most important components in affecting the life expectancy of your geyser outside of incorrect installation infringements, as it helps protect the lining of the geyser to prevent corrosion or leaks over time. Failure to check and or replace one can cause major problems. How an anode works. A geyser cylinder filled with water together with an electrical current will subject the solar geyser tank to an electrolytic process called electrolysis, which in turn causes galvanic corrosion. Thus, the anode rod, which is usually manufactured from magnesium or aluminium, a less noble metal than the material from which the tank is made of, is placed inside the geyser and would corrode first, leaving the inner tank and elements safe from corrosion. The anode rod is self-sacrificing and will continue to corrode until eventually it must be replaced. When there is no sacrificial metal left on the anode, it leaves the tank vulnerable, which is why it is so important to change your anode regularly. New and corroded anode. Once removed, the rod will appear rough. Magnesium or aluminium is formed around a steel core, which will become exposed as the rod corrodes. If no magnesium or aluminium is present, your cylinder has started corroding. A rod showing no or very little corrosion may have become passivated and is not preventing the cylinder from corroding. Don't take a chance, replace it. Which anode should I use and how often should I replace it? Magnesium anode rods are expected to work better in a home with soft water. Aluminium anodes are appropriate for homes with hard water and a high pH level. An anode rod's life expectancy is dependent on a plethora of factors, such as whether you have hard or soft water, the minerals contained in the water, the use of hot water, and the temperature setting all affect its lifespan. But generally, we suggest you should call Apollo 
or your local plumber every one to two years to check the status and determine when it's time for replacement before it dissolves. Replacing anodes regularly will save you the cost of replacing your whole geyser due to failure in the long run. In other cases where the water quality is not ideal, the anode will then need to be replaced at least twice a year. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time!